This is not a surprise to anybody, but you guys know that I kinda hate myself. So today I decided that I will play Afghanistan. Not vanilla, chill, I'm not that crazy, it's a brand new mod called Graveyard of Empires Afghanistan Reworked. And out of all of those fun looking paths to take, I decided that today I'm gonna form the Islamic fucking Caliphate. For which I'm gonna need a shitload of everybody's land. Which is gonna be very fucking difficult. So let's fucking begin. We start with this guy, which can't be fired. We got local tribe leaders, widespread illiteracy, the Afghan army and the developing industry. Our country is basically in shambles. Only two research slots as well. And I know exactly the thing that Afghanistan needs to fix the country. A 21 year old jobless Romanian man. And lucky for Afghanistan, that's exactly what I am. Holy shit, we have no infrastructure. We're gonna build this sieve in 8 fucking years. Okay. Let's Let's see, should we start with industry? I don't think going on the political path right off the bat is very beneficial, so I'm gonna work towards getting this research slot. I need 10 factories for this, so um, got to see what I can do. Oh, here it is. Educating the population. I'm gonna teach them all how to play Hearts of Iron 4. Oh, we got an uprising. Where the fuck is it? It doesn't show on the state. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore them for now. Hey, look at this. Now that the population knows how to play Hearts of Iron, and four, we're gonna get one more research slot. Checkmate, mom. Look how good video games are now. There is only one thing left to say. Subscribe. For some candy. Oh my fucking god, those divisions are all so goddamn weird. What the fuck is this? All right, in uh, 70 days I will have my fourth research slot. I spent one and a half years on industry and I only have 10 factories. Kind of shameful, not gonna lie. But we're looking pretty good. Also, look at this buff. Remember how it was in the beginning? Well, now we're talking. After that I will start my political tree. I don't know how much it will take, but I will probably be ready for war in 47 or something like that. Wait, I, I found something deep. Doesn't the British Reich core everything? Because right now they have compliance all over Pakistan. And by doing this focus, this state will get more uh, unrest. So I might be able to steal Pakistan from the British Reich. The UK is going fascist anyway, so uh, India will break out eventually. But it's interesting nonetheless. Oh, well. It looks like I would have had time for some industry after all. I need to wait for uh, fascist support to rise. So let's get this one in the meantime. Consumer goods and construction. Very nice. I swear to fucking god, this second Russian civil war was done in less than a month. This is amazing. Oh, this is an interesting looking Manchuko. I sure hope I'm not gonna get a jump scare when I click on Japan. Oh no, look at that, the jump scare. Wanna get another jump scare? Take a look at this shit. We have Austria. Austria-Hungary in early 30 they've been a thing for a while and it's not made by Germany it's made by Hungary okay we are now fascist we got a core on this state we don't get the actual state though we get a couple new advisors actually no there is nothing new here disappointing but we got a new leader with some all right bonuses and we can get war economy now that's the best part about it i can also escalate the waziristan uprising but i don't know what this means if i'm gonna go to war with the british reich it's not very good at this point huh this is curious. We have technocratic Afghanistan before GTA 6. We live in an interesting world. Let's empower the local chiefs. Well, shit. We became a bastion of science in the world, but for that we have to abolish the constitution. I guess you win some, you lose some. The Soviets already ate Eastern Poland. And Estonia Finland spawned again. They have been spawning way more often since the last DLC. I don't know what's happening. What the fuck is this? Oh, the Italian League is a thing again, which contains Estonia, Finland. I guess at this point it's a fucking tradition. Oh, and the UK is about to flip. Weekly manpower, count me in. The declaration of jihad. Those are some amazing bonuses. We just declared the new 
Caliphate, we got even more weekly manpower and now it's time to claim 177 states and get even more weekly manpower. Just the way I like it. Using magic to summon men in my Hearts of Iron games. Oh, look at this. We get to core regions. This is awesome. This is a very good system. I like this. So far, the mod looks pretty good. The first war is upon us. Let's declare war on Iran. I hope I'm gonna be able to take them out. They are pretty much always a little bit stronger than Afghanistan. Yeah, look at this shit. They have at least twice as many units as I do. And the whole entire fucking country is mountains, so yeah. Oh, and I have this debuff, by the way. I have no irregular divisions, but it seems like it's going pretty good so far. Anyway, I can also raise some divisions from uh, my states, but I don't think they will be any good. Oh, no, undeletable divisions. Why did you have to do this to me, mod developer? Just let me delete the fucking divisions managed to pull this encirclement it's pretty cool it's only a fraction of the iranian army and they are still training more but still oh yeah do you guys want to know what else is amazing about fighting iran from this side uh this they <laughs> the entire middle of the country has no supply hubs there is one in the capital one in the north and one on the border with iraq almost and the ports in the south but that won't be of any use to me because you know no no sea reverse yes Rivers little sea, but no big sea. I destroyed pretty much all of the Iranian army. They have 7-8 divisions left. Look at this ratio, by the way. So I think now it's time to press the button and to be over with this. It's already almost 41, which is a bit lame, but uh, I don't think Iraq is gonna give me any trouble. For some strange fucked up reason, the Italian league is at war with the fourth international, which is huge. And Germany just declared war on South fucking Africa. They also have war goals on everything else. And the UK is fascist. Now we can core all of this. 21 million people, 46 Factories. There is something we don't core. What is it? Oh, Mosul for some reason. It's probably in another triumph. Should I summon more irregulars? Uh, I guess. I already did a couple. Why not do them all? I'm gonna finish the focus professional army and then I'm gonna do the uprising. See what happens. Pakistan is independent, so uh, I can take them one one on one. They just gave me the state. Okay, five million people for free. Nice. Let's get a bit more industry. I don't have that many troops and I am literally surrounded by powerful factions. So I really want to be ready when I declare war. At least this time the UK and the US are not in the same faction. And holy Jesus, those are a lot of factions. I took out Pakistan anyway. I thought I could core them, but I actually need Bangladesh for that. Garrison this will be a little stressful for my economy but we are gonna deal with it okay what the fuck do we attack next the british are probably the obvious choice i do have a focus that gives me war goals on uh, the arabian countries so i think i might want to get them out of the way but i'm worried that they are gonna get guaranteed by the us or something i'm still gonna try though oh i can actually court those two states with compliance that's nice that's one more million people i would much rather have court this one but okay germany is a <laughs> fucking monster they are at war with the british faction the french faction they just declared war on the soviets they're at war with the us the entirety of china somehow they are having a great day oh look at poland shrunken shriveled little poland for now i'm just gonna chill for a little bit i am training a lot more divisions and i want to finish this army tree and get this bonus the british were not ready for the jihad their faction is huge but they are the only major i got pretty much no ships so i don't have high hopes that i could land i am gonna get military access from germany which is pretty much just europe at this point they overrun everything why is germany so fucking powerful nowadays they don't even have that many divisions holy shit the russians have 300 men power left okay never mind they are so strong because they have no fucking competition i understand that's arabia done let's score it and the levant 40 million core population couple more factories almost no resources outside of oil but it's fine i had worse resources than this at least the mod dev was kind enough to give me 20 still in kabul oh fuck this shit yeah in the last update they disconnected bahrain from uh, qatar i am glad i was able to core arabia without that i still don't core mosul or this syrian state okay also oh i also don't oh i don't core the 
Kurdish, okay. Oh, the Triumph for Anatolia is gonna give me course on the Kurdish, okay. I did set up a naval invasion, but apparently I don't know how to do it. God fucking damn it. I am pushing through India right now. I also declared war on the Soviets, so I can nib out the Central Asian territory and everything else I have claims on. The Soviets are almost down 86%. And I am looking to invade Britain. But the Germans took out their ships from the channel just as my divisions got here. So I don't have high hopes. But I'm patient. Whoa, 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 whoa. I I landed. I I don't know when. When did this happen? I didn't even notice. Okay, I think we got it. I have really good supply buffs. So my divisions are not attritioning at all. I literally encircled those guys in their own country and they can't do anything to stop me it's over for them brits <laughs> yeah fuckers they were no match for the mighty afghan caliphate i'm gonna take a bunch of shit that i can core later basically all of india i don't like to puppet india at all because they get that stupid spirit that gives them autonomy and i don't like that okay there is that now i'm gonna take the uk as my puppet because i was the one who killed them of course japan is just gonna get all of china the us is gonna get new zealand or at least a bit of it germany is gonna get british malaya norway and estonia and i'm gonna take the navies of course did you think that i forgot nah and there also goes the soviet union i only have three percent participation but i'm gonna take all of turkey because it's rightfully mine i don't care what the haters say i worked very hard for this i can also core those states i think let me check yeah something like that so i'm also gonna take georgia and armenia why not and there we have all the states Tons now something like this i believe i think this is all i hope it is because i really need all those states to core them okay italy is gonna get all of greece austria Hungary is gonna get this poland is gonna get back its territory plus a bit more i don't know something like this and the germans will take everything else and my navy will grow a little bit hell yeah this is a big afghan caliphate let's score the caucasus anatolia and central asia we got the uyghurs left which is a bit of china i need this state from austria hungary i wasn't at war with france so that's why i don't own syria in order to core the kurdish i need the balkans oh fuck i can get cores on kazan and ufa it would have been nice to know this before i ended the peace deal anyway we have north africa east africa west africa and southeast asia damn that's a lot i will basically have to fight every single major faction okay let's get going then first target the italian league let me prepare a little bit oh well perfect i know it's just the thing i wanted to do coincidentally mr balbo whoa this is a lot of divisions that won't be good normally but most of them are italian so they fucking suck you know how it goes i think i'm winning in basically every single front except this one okay just let them attack then let the fools destroy themselves it seems like the italians don't really value their men because they burned one million of them trying to break through istanbul and now they only have zero on all adults serve i did encircle quite a bit of them like 40 divisions i think but that's just more details i think i just capitulated bulgaria here also encircled more troops and from here i think i will just battle plan this might be a small victory but it's the first step why the fuck are those three countries not in the pistol this worries me a little bit hmm yeah oh okay it was a bug i thought i would remain at war with nobody for the rest of the game there we go now i have to deal with islamist italy i need to annex those fuckers my cores look really weird the fact that i don't core oman for some reason and all the shit that's going on here and i don't even want to speak about this it's been a while it's 1947 I trained a shitload of divisions, I have 500 now. Everything is on position, everything is trained up, supply is built, and the first collaboration government is ready, so let's justify a war goal and declare war. Apparently we have divisions in their territory somehow. Where exactly is that? Oh, it's in Beirut. How the fuck did they get there? I don't have military access with Germany, that's the weird part. And I still have some divisions in their territory somewhere. Here, okay. Uh, I will actually need some divisions down there. I 
almost forgot about this part. Oh, never mind, I do have military access. When the fuck did I get this? Austria-Hungary just capitulated, so I think Germany is gonna follow soon. Already 41% without Berlin. This game is easy. It's no match for me. I didn't even need to drop any nukes. Not like I could even do that with my 100 plane strong air force. I had like... 3k planes I think but the Germans shredded that to pieces. Anyway look where that got them. To fucking damnation. And we have a piece though. I'm gonna take everything. I am not leaving to the US anything. They did nothing this whole entire war. Oh no. France is now a thing. I regret doing this. I actually got so fucking upset that I'm seeing France back on the map that I'm gonna end the video right here. I would have loved to get all the cores I could had but I really 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 don't want to fight this USA faction. They had a really good game as well, so they have 400 divisions, and that would just be a pain, and I don't want to repeat the China experience from two episodes ago, which is kinda lame I know, but it is what it is. Those are my cores, they don't look any less weird. I could have cored this entire part of Africa, but I don't own a fucking Djibouti, so it is what it is. But anyway, thank you for watching this far, hope you like this video and as always, I would like to thank my Patreons for supporting me every single month. Plus C, Tomilea1, Arctic CJ, Devante, Thunder, Grongwegs, Windows Mistake Edition, Gabe Slicor, Jack M, Erika Mennerheim, Neil Class, K64, Dan Demantis, and Yuki. Thank you guys again, and until next time, don't forget, Paraguay is rightful Islamic territory. What the fuck, this is big Uruguay time. How did they got that?